Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Peter Shields here from PD the Rocker Channel. I've got your exclusive WWE bragging rights review here for this Sunday, uh, October 24th. Um, first off, we got Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Um, I personally think SmackDown will take it because, as I can tell from tonight's episode of SmackDown, they're kicking ass and they seem like, even though there's a lot of rivalries and a lot of egos on that team, it seems like it's a pretty good team that's going to kick some ass. And uh, try and go for that Stanley Cup mockery of a trophy. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Uh, we got uh, Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett with John Cena for the WWE Championship. Um, Wade, like, I I would just watch right after wrestling about an hour or so ago. And uh, I would agree with um, those guys. I would say that uh, Wade Barrett will probably win that match. And then they'll probably, or Randy Orton will probably win that match. And then if he wins, he'll probably end up going like, um, Probably end up was it called um, making Cena do like an arcade? Sorry, attitude adjustment, and then Cena, and then was it called little uh, Miz is gonna come out and win the win the title, and then Raw is gonna be gonna be a little fun um, on Monday. And then we got uh, Layla versus Natalia for the Unified Divas Championship. I gotta say, Lay Lay Cool is really getting on my nerves. I mean, to insult Bret Hart like that tonight on SmackDown, Whew. especially in Alberta. I mean, who does that <laughs> anyway? I feel that Natalia will win on Sunday because it's about time that she wins. Like she's earned it. She's worked really hard, and she's like gonna make up for all these stupid mistakes that the rest of the Hart Dynasty are making. I have no idea why it's getting like that, but I could totally see them going at each other one time or another. All right. Next, we got uh, Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, according to where I got these sources, um, it's just a singles match. There's nothing on the line. Um, Daniel Bryan I, is my my odds-on favorite because Daniel Bryan ha, is hasn't lost in a pay-per-view yet since he's been in the WWE, uh, and he's a pretty funny guy in a way. Um, then you got uh, Undertaker versus Kane in a buried alive match for World Heavyweight Championship. This could be like the the opening thing for um for what's it called? This could be an opening for like Undertaker to take some time off. And then come back stronger than ever around time for WrestleMania to determine who he'll face for his 19-0 match. Um, personally, I think, so, therefore, I think Kane's going to end up winning this match this, this weekend. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's either going to be the main event. If not, it's going to be very close to the main event, and it's going to be a very long match. And um, that's everything. And, um, oh, and if you're in the Toronto area this Sunday, uh, you can check out... Uh, Breaking Rice live on the big screen at Colossus Wood Bridge. Um, show starts at 8 o'clock, but we do a special pre-show. It'll start at 7.30. We give out prizes, such as tickets, merch, WWE merchandise, posters, and such. And um, it's a one-of-a-kind experience. you got to check it out. Um, for ticket information, just go on the website. Um, ticket range is pretty pretty good. I mean, it's, it's better than spending a huge amount of money at... Um, pay-per-view at home so instead of watching it alone at home you can watch it on the big screen with a crowd of 100 plus it's actually a pretty cool experience um it is very worth it take it from me i am a huge fan of that show of the shows i'm a huge fan of the work they do so um now i got all i covered um be sure to check in on uh be sure to subscribe for more videos and you can add me as a friend on facebook it's peter shields i'll put it, the name in the description box um and that's everything. So anyway, um, have a nice weekend, everybody, and uh, go SmackDown.